Hey guys, my name is Fierce Dilly Mahesh and welcome back to, to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64. Now, I know we are actually starting in a different place than where we ended in the last episode guys. It's because my uh, file save actually got way too corrupted and I couldn't really do anything about it guys. So essentially what you need to go ahead and do is that you actually need to go ahead and make your way towards the sacred forest meadow where there will actually be a lot of moblins as opposed to the de dekus which we saw when we were a kid and then you have to just just like just sneak your way through them because it's going to be really really hard to, to actually escape from them and then here is a huge moblin which can go ahead and absolutely make you dead right because what you need to actually go ahead and do is that you need to just move left and right to go ahead and escape from his hits I know it won't make too much sense guys, but for now I think uh, that's all we can go ahead and do. But anyway guys, in the last episode we actually became an adult and we actually did the world's most amazing quest in the entire game. The Happy Mask quest. <laughs> and today guys, we're actually about to take on the first temple in the game as Adult Link. And what I mean by that is that we're actually about to go ahead and take on the forest temple, but before that... We're, go we're actually about to go and have a quick chat with Sheik and we're actually about to learn a new song which will help us to come here anytime we want in any place in Hyrule. So this is actually a song which we will learn called the Minuet of the Forest. And you guys will see that um, Sheik actually has a harp as opposed to an ocarina what we have. But he is going to go ahead and teach us a lot of songs and by the way guys, all of these songs are incredibly beautiful and they just have a very mystic vibe to it which just makes it really really nice. So I think we can go ahead and just play the song right now, okay. A up, right, I say left, right, <laughs> okay. I am actually post commentating this episode guys, it's because once again the like audio file of this one episode also got incredibly corrupt and I couldn't once again do anything about it so... Post commentating is not the world's easiest thing whatsoever, but it's at least easier than finding where or like just trying to make the um, save file which was totally corrupt. Okay, so here let's go ahead and just witness him disappearing and let's go ahead and make our way into the forest temple and see what we have to go ahead and do. So here we have to just hook our way up to this very like um, branch I guess. Yeah, there you go. And let's go ahead and actually make our way into the forest temple and see what we can go ahead and do in this amazing temple. Now, this temple, overall the vibe, the music, everything has a very eerie feeling to it, right? And But actually speaking, if you know what to go ahead and do, it's incredibly linear and easy. So here we can just go ahead and just hook, uh, or uh, here we just hooked on to these vines. And we actually made our way to this little branch. And don't forget to collect the Skulltler which will be over here. It's pretty hard to not observe because uh, the sound it makes is pretty annoying and you can't really go ahead and escape it. But let's go ahead and try to jump off this. I normally always go ahead and fail at this. I don't know if I go ahead and fail at this but oh, I actually did fail. That's why I actually saved when I recorded this. Oh, that is just crazy. What? What? How is this happening? Okay, okay, anyway, just let's go ahead and wait and just hook onto this chest. This works as well. This is one of like the most safest ways to go ahead and uh, um, take on this temple or rather just go ahead and obtain this key. Okay, that is pretty bad to go for. But anyway, let's go ahead and actually make our way into the first room of this temple because the other area was just an outdoor area and here is a, a huge sculpture which you can kill with your hookshot now. And here guys, let's go ahead and make our way into the main hub room of, of, of mm. And let's go ahead and make our way into the main hub room of the temple. And here we can actually see four poles who had taken the guise of four beautiful flames. But in all honesty they are not beautiful whatsoever. So uh, let's go ahead and make our way to the opposite side of the room first of all because we will need about uh, three keys b before we can actually make our way uh, to actually unlocking any lock doors and I don't think I mentioned this but actually for uh, from now onwards for like unlocking certain doors you will need keys and for others you won't or you will need to go ahead and defeat an enemy or something like that and in this room is a bubble which is pretty much a skull 
that is uh, surrounded by flames and here is the world's most devastating boss in Zelda so I went ahead and saved one sec this is called the style force and these are pretty much like Link because they have a sword and a shield and they're pretty much very very devastating and they can and they can actually cause a lot of damage onto you so <clears throat> be very very careful on how you go ahead and do this so let me go ahead and just wait for them to attack and let's go ahead and so bad of me. There you go. If you can actually make them to be like tricked in a certain way to go ahead and uh, keep attacking you, you could actually get a lot of hits on them in this way. But let's go ahead and try it because we can't get that luck all the time. Let's go ahead and wait for their, uh, their attack or uh, his attack because it's a male definitely. Come on. Stop being such a coward. And by the way guys, we killed the second style foes as well. And to be honest, that is actually really really good. We didn't lose too much of health and we're doing pretty well, not gonna lie. Though uh, we did lose a little <coughs> health from the first style foes. Here's a fairy which you can go ahead and collect. Fairy heal me. Okay, there you go. And now we can go ahead and actually open up this chest which will contain and another small key so right now we have two small keys we need one before we can make our way to the, the to the first locked room okay and we actually got hurt by the bubbles flame but in opposition to how it was in Majora's Mask here they don't go ahead and curse us as in you won't be able to use your sword in Majora's Mask if bubbles hit you but here it's not in that way because you actually need a certain song to make your curse go away which you don't really get at this point of time or learn at this point of time and by the way guys like post commentating is not easy whatsoever and this is actually a courtyard which you have to be pretty care um, careful about number one because there is a huge Deku Baba and number two because there are two courtyards which look exactly the same and it it always confuses players including myself. Now uh, actually in the 3DS remake of this game there's a way in, in, in which you can actually shoot the final Skulltla as well with your hook shot if you stand very close. I'm gonna go ahead and just say once and actually make my way and uh, and like if you see them being purple you actually know that they're about to go and attack you so if they don't go ahead and see you it's gonna be great. And by the and by the guys we actually made our way into this room there's another bubble which is pretty much a small mini boss I guess it's not at all major so wait why am I not able to hit this guy oh how is this possible holy crap this is actually really really hard holy crap that took a lot of time for me anyway here's a huge chest which actually has the dungeon map of the temple which is not something very very important but it's pretty surprising that just killing a bubble would give us a uh, huge chest <clears throat> but anyway guys we actually got ourselves the dungeon map now we can make our way towards the opposite room this is not the room which I need to be in so it's the it's actually the opposite room so if you see this sign right it actually proves that you're going in the right way so I could possibly say that you guys know the way you know <laughs> okay that, that's pretty much it a very very old and dead meme. Anyway, uh, here is a skull wall to love which you need not kill but I just killed because I was just interested in kicking in making it dead. But here's a fancy looking red switch which we can go ahead and press to make the well empty. And this is the other coat here guys. So as you can tell like they look incredibly similar. And you need, you actually need to be very very careful because you could be very confused by the way they go ahead and do it. Now here's a chest and a sculptor, but <clears throat> there's a way in which you have to go ahead and, and go onto this chest. You can't just hook like randomly to it because um, you have to hook it from behind. But we are a little bit too... <laughs> the problem with this is that my controller is so sensitive and I can't really go ahead and do this because... Oh my god, I hate having a sensitive controller of this sort, okay? It's not easy. And if I go into here, I'll fall down. Yeah. I sh I sh I, sh I should have already no no I sh I sh I sh 
I can't speak, okay, so I should have already known that, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and actually hook on from the f from the front. There you go, finally. That took a while, actually, to be honest. But here, we can get a recovery heart, not something very important, but at least if you were extremely low on health, you could go ahead and actually... Oh, come on. <laughs> we can octagon. So, let's go ahead and try to go in. Oh, my God. I hate these freaking octagons, man. Oh my god. There you go. At least that killed it. And now guys, we can actually go ahead and kill this Sculptor. And now guys, we can actually go ahead and get ourselves our third, I'm pretty sure. Third or... Holy, holy crap, what is that? <laughs> well, that's pretty much what happens when the game doesn't know if you're supposed to go down or above, so... The character here just passes out. It also happens with uh, Mario a lot. I actually expect I actually experienced that a lot in Mario 64. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and actually make our way and collect this chest. I was a little absent-minded when I actually recorded this because I didn't see the chest itself. So, by the guys, we got ourselves our third small key. And now, guys, we can actually make our way to the first locked door in this temple. Uh, beyond which there will be another locked door. Beyond which there will be an, an, another locked door. So, it's going to be a lot of locked doors which you need to go ahead and unlock. And this is the second courtyard. Uh, sorry, this is the first courtyard. So, as you can tell, it's very, very similar. And you need to be very careful when you go ahead and deal with these courtyards. Because you could get confused. And when I was playing the... Um, um, 3D's version of this game about a few months back, I was so confused between these two courtyards because I did because I never actually knew about it until I played the 3D's version. That is so weird of me. I, I know, but it's just very, very, it's just very, very annoying. Guys, you guys know it. Okay, so here is a pretty annoying room, mainly because no, uh, not, not wait, not because of the bubble, but mainly because um, there's actually. What do you say? There's actually a very, very huge block puzzle which could annoy the freaking crap out of you. So, yes, there are arrows painted on the floor. How interesting. Well, not, not really. And as you could realize, even on these blocks, there is the sign, the, the controversial sign which everybody was talking about. <laughs> but anyway, I don't think it's supposed to be something which is very offensive. But if it is offensive to some groups, I don't think I can go ahead and say anything about it. It's actually their own personal preference. So here, let's go ahead and push this block all the way <coughs> to the back of this room. And here we have to push this block this side to the end of this room so that we can make our way towards the floor above. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we are pretty much done. Let's go ahead and actually make a way. We actually need to find a staircase, which I'm not sure where it is actually, to be honest. And holy crap. Because I'm pretty sure this is one staircase which we need to climb in order to go ahead and... Okay, there you go. That's where it is. So if you climb this staircase, you will actually be able to push the block on the next floor without which you will not be able to do this quest whatsoever or this one block puzzle not quest okay so let's actually go ahead and make our way to the end of this room and uh, once you hear the weird lock sound it's pretty much that the block can't move anymore so that's what so that's pretty much your cue and let's go ahead and actually make our way here and climb this block onto the next floor so that we can actually go ahead and make our way onto the next floor. And here is the red switch or the red block which we pushed earlier. So let's go ahead and actually push it further so that that will provide a platform for us to go to the floor that is above this. There you go. And once you hear that, that like a shuddering jingle, you actually will be able to be very sure that you are going in the right way and you've done something right. So here is a ladder which will allow us to make our way towards the floor that is even above this. 
So uh, as you could tell, there are actually a lot of platforms in this room. So here is our second locked door. And as you could tell, the corridor is all twisted. Okay, that's... Uh, Navi said exactly the same words as what I said. So you could tell that... I either already watched the episode b b before I commentated this. Or I actually have played this game so many times that I actually remember what she goes and says. Yeah, so she actually alerted us about the shadows of monsters, which is actually talking about the wall masters, which will come from the sky and actually will go ahead and take you to the very ent entrance of the temple. And they are incredibly annoying. And here in this room, guys, is going to be one of the most toughest battles of this entire temple, which is going to be against a pack of three style force. The well, it's the first one is first. And then we're actually able to go ahead and take on the second pack of Star Force. Oh, but come on. And these Star Force are cheaters because they can j uh, jump into the hole and not fall down. Where whereas if we do that, we'll pretty much just die. Come on. It's taking a while actually. Okay, there you go, guys. And now we have gone ahead and killed the the first Star Force. And now on to the second two Star Force. And now. Uh, if you kill one of them first, if, if you take too long to kill the second one, the first one can re can actually uh, resurrect the second one. So you need to be very careful and that's why you just go ahead and do two jump attacks on one style force. And then go ahead and change your target to the second style force. Uh, and, and, and then go ahead and do two jump attacks on it as well. Holy crud, I, I, I'm actually losing a lot of health and I'm pretty sad that I didn't collect 11 heart containers. And I also don't have a fairy, so... Nice. Uh, oh, the lag. Holy shit, that's a lot. Okay, let's go. Come on, Salvo, stop attacking me. There you freaking go. Boy! <laughs> I hate these Salvo's more than any other enemy in the history of Ocarina of Time, guys. I'm being completely honest. Let's go ahead and just uh, break off this pot <laughs> and get ourselves a heart. Break this pot, get ourselves another heart. Break the pot on the opposite side and also I presume get a heart. There you go. And I'm pretty sure even this has a heart. Yes, there you go. And with it guys, we can open up this chest which contains the main item of the temple. So guys, be, be ready and prepared because this is one of the most amazing items which you can get as adult link. So, brace yourself. We are getting the fairy bow. Well, I know it sounds pretty sissy and stuff, but it's an amazing item because it can help you like to freaking shoot things. It's like an adult slingshot, pretty much. Yeah, so let's go ahead and actually equip it to... Uh, C left stick and equip our hookshot to the uh, C down stick or the down C stick. I don't know how to go ahead and say that, but anyway, let's, uh, here, guys, let's go ahead and make our way towards the opposite room. And here is where a lot of things will go ahead and start opening to you guys. Now, here, okay, that just went ahead and escaped from us. So we have to go ahead and hit the paintings of these pores in a way that they don't that they don't go ahead and see us actually. But let's go ahead and actually... Oh, come on. That's pretty weird, okay. Here, we have to actually go ahead and stand. Okay, that's, that's not the right position at all. That's not good either. Okay, let's go ahead and actually take out a bow and go and hit it. And here, it's going to be right behind us, so... Let's go ahead and actually move to the upper area and go ahead and shoot it this way which will actually make the poke come to life and now we'll have to battle the poke which is very very easy to be honest let's, let's go ahead and just take out a sword for one sec and here is the poke let's go ahead and fight it so you have to wait until it becomes visible completely visible and then you have to go ahead and strike it with your sword with a jump attack just do two jump attacks and one shot with your arrow and that's gonna pretty much suffice let's go ahead and actually Wait for it. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, Lick. We need to be in a pretty good range for this fight. Let's go ahead and there you go. And now just one bow hit will do the job. 
Oh god. Let's go ahead and wait for it to attack us. And now let's go ahead and just shoot it with an arrow. And by the way, guys, we completed the short fight with the bow. And by the way, guys, we get ourselves another generic temple item. Which is actually the compass and it's pretty late because we already got pretty much all the three important chests Which contain the dungeon map, the item of the temple and the compass right now so pretty much you don't really need any more chests And now guys I'm actually about to do something which will save both you or um, it, Yes it will save you but it will also save your time and my time because we can actually use for the first time Pharaoh's win in his room because we'll have to backtrack a lot because we don't have any more keys. And let's go ahead and just um, use Pharaoh's win here. And now from wherever we are, if we want to teleport to this area, we can actually make our way here by using the Pharaoh's win one more time. So it's going to go ahead and come to the entrance of this room, which is actually uh, down there. There you go, that's where the Heroes Wind is. <clears throat> it's a very very useful item, especially if you wanna like stop a bit of the backtracking rate. So let's go ahead and actually break this and get like we don't have any magic okay, never mind. Well it's not like we don't have any magic, we have about half or less than half. So now we can go ahead and come on. So now we can go ahead and kill off the second bow. Which will actually be in the thing that's above this. So let's go ahead and actually shoot it. Let me go ahead and make my way, and by the way guys, we shot it once. Oh, come on. That's just not fair, okay. Now guys, we can go ahead and shoot it once like this, and now we can go ahead and actually run as quickly as we can, and make our way towards this area, go ahead and shoot it once, and by the way guys, we, we actually made even this book come to life, which is absolutely amazing. Now we don't actually have to go ahead and deal with the... Uh, hitting of this bow with an arrow as a painting and you can actually see the names of these bows if you go ahead and press on navi oh come on this is not possible okay but anyway guys let's go ahead and actually strike it once let's go ahead and wait for the second attack there you go, second attack, and now for the third time with our arrows. So let's go ahead and actually strike once with our arrows. And by the way, we have killed the second Po. Now there are about two more Po's, and we're actually doing super well with. Okay, I can't even speak. We are actually doing super well with this temple so far because the last Po will take a very, very short while to go ahead and take on. So here guys we obtain ourselves one small key but don't make your way back to where we previously were because there will be another locked door behind that. So here let's go and actually make our way to this room where we previously were. And here since we actually have the arrows we can actually go ahead and shoot the ice switch. Okay that's pretty weird. Uh, which was in this room and then we can go ahead and make this corridor straight again which is absolutely great. And that will lead us to the boss key. So as you could probably tell guys, uh, from now onwards we actually need a boss key for even the boss. And we can't just make our way to the boss anytime we want. So as you could tell guys, it's not very simple now as an adult. But of course the difficulty level will increase as you go ahead and become older, <laughs> right? So here is the fancy looking chest which contains the boss key. And as I said guys, the, the, uh, like things in life become harder right because as you grow up things become more harder more complicated and by the way we got ourselves the boss key now let's go ahead and make our way into this short room let's go ahead and kill off this bubble and let's go ahead and actually oh come on there you go one jump attack let's go ahead and do this let's go ahead and do another jump attack and by the way we killed both the bubbles with uh, one jump attack each. Let's go ahead and make our way over here. Okay, okay, now, okay. So here is where you need to be a little careful. I saved once because you could fall potentially if you are not careful. But here, of course, there are some hearts. But uh, more importantly, there is actually a sculptor that is actually making a very, very annoying sound. And I hate the sound of the sculptors. It's so annoying. It makes you like want to itch yourself so bad because it's so annoying. <clears throat> 
Come, how is that not reachable? Come on, okay, let's go and actually make our way to where we previously were. I will say it once again because I don't really want to go and fail this. But here's a huge Deku Bubble. Let's go ahead and actually uh, kill it and get ourselves a Deku Stick. I don't know how that go ahead and help us, but anyway. Uh, don't make your way to the, that door because here in this door, guys, you'll actually go ahead and get yourself a battle with a wall master, or a, rather a floor master. Sorry, I'm very sorry about that. So let's go ahead and hit it once and, and go ahead and discharge your spin attack. Let's go ahead and hit. Let's go ahead and hit it once and hit even this once with your sword and now we can act uh, we will actually get ourselves another small key and th uh, that's pretty much what i was waiting for before we could use pharaoh's wind one more time but anyway guys we got ourselves our second small key so guys as you could tell we are doing pretty well as far as keys are concerned as of now and now we can actually go ahead and use pharaoh's wind in the room that's after this but let's go ahead and actually Make our way. And actually speaking, guys, I just want to go ahead and thank you for all the um, support on the videos, you know, because um, I was just looking at one of my old videos, which is episode 1, and I'm actually getting a lot of support in it. So, once again, guys, thank you so much for all the support which you go ahead and give me. And only if you guys could go ahead and just uh, share my videos with your friends, it would be so good, guys. You guys have no idea, because I often never get a chance to go ahead and make people... Um, know about my channel, so let's go into Sabia once because I'm pretty sure the shadow of the monster will go ahead and okay, not that way. Let's go ahead and actually jump across. There you go, we can actually go ahead and make our way here and let's go and save one more time. I save way too much, I know that, guys, but just because I don't want to go ahead and waste time on screen, right? Because if I go ahead and waste time, okay, oh wow, this room, okay, so. There's an easier way in, in which you can go and take on this room. So essentially what you would actually do is that you would actually shoot an arrow through the fire into this ice which which is actually f which is actually frozen. But instead you can go and make your way to this platform used in fire and automatically it will go and be activated. So by the way guys, we have made this corridor twisted instead rather than straight what it actually was. But let's go and actually switch our hook shot back to where we actually equi we actually equipped a dense fire. Like I can't speak at all for some reason today. It's just so hard for me to go ahead and speak. <clears throat> but at any guys, here are the green bubbles which we previously met. And now since the corridor is twisted, things are going to be a little bit more different. And we can actually make our way into this hole. That that's not incredibly wrong once again. And here. I would ask you guys to not make your way here because it's just going to be an extension of the courtyard which we were, which we were previously in but as you make your way a little forward it's going to be really really dangerous because the ceiling is falling down indeed and see where the safe uh, spots are because there's a safe spot over here oh come on not you freaking sparkler please let's go and make our way to where the switch is there you go guys we can actually go ahead and open up the door and, and I also realized I'm speaking way too fast right now, mainly because I am getting a little tensed on... Oh god, the chest! Come on, dude! But don't worry guys, even the chest area is a safe area. So here, let's go ahead and actually make our way in, into this door and escape... Oh my god, this room. This damn room. <laughs> okay, so the, let's go ahead and just strike this poor painting and let's go ahead and actually... Uh, okay, now we have exactly one minute to go ahead and solve this block puzzle, which is going to be a little tough. And the one in the middle, which is the bluish color, and there's a black, I don't know if it's like a bat or something. Uh, that is pretty much an unwanted block, so be sure to be very, very careful when you go ahead and do that. I could have actually just pulled it, but because uh, my actual recording is incredibly stupid, uh, let's go ahead and actually. <clears throat> make our way over here let's go and actually push this block to where it needs to be and it's gonna take a little time because i'm not very good with block puzzles to be very honest but let's go ahead and okay we are we are actually getting we are actually getting a little late so let's actually go ahead and 
Oh god, it's getting a little bit too late. Oh god, guys, guys, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so close. Anyway, luckily we just blocked the force attack. Holy crap, man. This actually takes a lot of time. <laughs> oh, that actually really, really made me scared when I recorded it. And even now, because I'm not really sure. Like, I, or I wasn't really sure if I actually was able to do it or not. And I always get scared when other players actually fail with their things like and it is very very scary even to me though I'm not actually the player of the game okay so actually let's go ahead and just collect this <coughs> arrow and now guys let's go ahead and actually make our way to the room across so I'm pretty sure there's nothing important in this uh, okay what is saying okay oh wow actually speaking guys we're almost done with this temple holy crud <laughs> Okay, that's actually really really good guys. I'm actually very very impressed with that. So let's go ahead and actually make our way to this room where we will be fighting the mini boss after which we will actually be able to make our way towards the final area of this temple after which we will be able to make our way towards the boss room. So let's go ahead and actually uh, be with this mini boss. This mini boss is actually called Meg I'm pretty sure. This is a pretty cool mini boss. So there's one of these pose which always spins an extra time. So just um, shoot it because there are about three clones of the same, like um, of the same pose. So just go and shoot the actual pose, and then you can actually go ahead and, and actually uh, make this fight incredibly simple and. It's gonna be great. Let's go ahead and actually wait for. I'm pretty sure it's about like four to five hits. So let's go ahead and actually wait and see how long it takes first. One more hit. Let's go ahead and see if it is taken down this time or the next time. Let's go ahead and actually shoot this time. Oh, there, there you go. Four to five hits. Let's go ahead and actually. Yeah. So we we. Actually, we were standing right above the uh, the elevator. Okay, we were actually standing right above the elevator. Like okay, you can't go and speak, but anyway, we actually missed the we actually missed the bundle of arrows. But now, guys, we can actually make our way into the final area of this temple before which we can act, uh, like and uh, I cannot speak. Okay, so after which we will be able to take on the boss of this temple. So here are these huge. I don't know what to actually call them. It's, just, it's like an extension of the wall. We have to actually push these, and there's nothing in this alcohol. Let's go and make our way to this area where there's actually a switch. And I actually, I'm pretty sure I do something very stupid uh, a little later on. So let's go ahead and actually push one more time. I, oh my god, I'm so stupid! I could, I, I could also push that. Okay, holy crud, man. So as you can tell, there's also the sound of a Skulltler, which just proves that there's actually a Skulltler in, in one of these areas. So here's another switch which you can go ahead and press to go ahead and unlock another gate. So you will need to unlock pretty much all the gates, I'm pretty sure. Let's actually go ahead and... There's nothing over here either. Let's go ahead and actually push this uh, one more time. And I'm pretty sure this time we we'll, we will be getting ourselves the sculptor. So let's go and actually make our way to. I keep going into like the wrong alcove. Let's go and okay. Here is where a huge sculptor is, but this is not what we're dealing with. We are actually dealing with this sculptor, which is up on the wall. So let's go and actually target talk, talk onto this and get ourselves a uh, fifth gold sculptor. For some reason, I was about to say the second golden sculptor, which is not true. It's the fifth, and the, and it's not the same number whatsoever. So we got ourselves a bundle of arrows, and now, guys, we can actually go ahead and just push it one more time to go ahead and make our way towards the boss room. And uh, he, here is where I do the incredibly lame, stupid thing. <coughs> Post commentating is so boring, you guys. You guys have no idea. Holy crud, it's so irritating. <laughs> yeah, so I forgot to push that switch and I do the whole thing over and over again. Okay, so sorry, guys. I'm just going ahead and just being a stupid dude. I've pretty much pressed all the switches, but I'm 
but uh, I'm actually able to go ahead and check every single switch and that just proves how stupid I actually am you know anyway let's go ahead and actually wait for uh, Mahesh who is helping <laughs> to actually complete his uh, quest in vain <laughs> Let's go ahead and push it one more time. I'm pretty sure this is not going to be the one which we are searching for. Anyway, let's go ahead and push it one more time. Holy crap, I'm actually getting really, really bored of this. Uh, this is actually I'm so stupid. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and actually, this is the uh, final time, so anyway. Let's go ahead and actually push this one more time <clears throat> and now actually make our way to where we truly need to be so yeah so this is the locked door and the opposite side of that is where there is the actual switch and I didn't even have to do that like even a single time more but I did that because you guys know how amazingly stupid I am I hope there is a nice oxymoron well, guess why I use an oxymoron? Because I'm a moron. Okay, never mind. That is a very, very bad joke. Anyway, yeah, here, the, yeah, now guys, here is the boss room. Now, I know I actually included this boss in my top 5 bosses in Ocarina of Time list, which I made uh, a while back, which you guys can go ahead and check out if you go ahead and just make my way to my video section. But actually speaking, the way this boss pans out, it's just a very, very tough boss. It, it actually may be a good boss, but it's just very, very tough for me. And though it's actually the first boss, as I don't think, I actually feel the um, last temple's boss is much easier than this. So let's go ahead and actually battle this uh, version of Ganda who is actually a ghost. So he's actually able to go ahead and uh, transform him himself into, into a phantom and actually about to mount, uh, mount this horse and make his way into painting. So we have to actually strike him three times in painting. So there's supposed to be two... Uh, figures of him which are actually able to go ahead and pop out of paintings but only one of them is the actual real one so one of them will actually move behind them and one of them will actually move forward so overall uh, this phase of the battle and next phase when you actually have to battle with Gandalf hand to hand is actually very very tough and it's one of my hated bosses it's one of like, my most hated bosses so here we go and strike him once and we actually strike and we actually um, strike him just as he was about to uh, pop out. So here there are two paintings adjacent to each other, so we can go ahead and there you go. The second hit, about one more hit, and that'll do the job. Let's go ahead and see it once. And now, guys, we can actually go ahead and um, okay, I can never make out where he is for the third time because I just keep getting like so excited that like it's about to end, and then I forget about the fact that I have to actually pay attention to the, to the battle itself. So let's go ahead and actually see where uh, Garen comes from. Pretty sure this is the one. No, again, that's the wrong one. Oh my god, it's not possible. Okay. I'm pretty sure if, uh, the next time I, I, I go and hit him is going to be the final time. So let's go ahead and just wait and see. Okay, so I was actually wrong, so let's go ahead and just <laughs> see the ball. This first phase is actually taking so long, but I'm pretty sure the second phase is a little bit more tougher than this one. Let's go, uh, finally, there you go. And now, guys, is where the actual magic begins, where he's about to go ahead and dismount his horse. And a huge game of tennis is going to go ahead and take place already hit. Wow, so this is going to be a huge, uh, a very small game of tennis rather than small draw, huge. <laughs> Let's go and strike him once. Keep. I'm so clumsy at this battle, dude. Anyway, let's go ahead. There you go, one hit down. Let's go and strike him once with a jump attack. And that's it, pretty much done. So let's go ahead and try to strike him one more time. And when it's at a good angle, right, it's actually gonna be. Uh, like, it's actually able to be like a. It's supposed to be a, a continuous, there you go, that's where it is. It's gonna be pretty continuous, and there again I failed. But anyway, let's go ahead and actually. Try one more time. There you go. Oh, come on. This is not fair. Okay. Really. So, 
So here, okay, let's go ahead and actually shoot. Oh my god, this is actually getting pretty bad. Maybe we just one hit. Let's go ahead and strike him one more time. Oh my god. Let's go ahead and actually wait for him to go and attack. Oh my god, this is actually getting pretty bad. Not even gonna go and lie because it's actually a great position to go and actually work around with. So um, I actually restored the save state. Now we can go and do a lot of jump attacks on this dude. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! We actually missed about two attacks, which we could go and do, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and actually deal. There you go, guys. One more hit. Okay, this one more hit. We're going to do it. There you go, guys. We actually completed this boss. And. Oof, that actually took a very very long time but anyway again is gonna be pretty angry at what he did because he feels his phantom was very very weak and not what he required exactly And <clears throat> by the case, we actually defeat the boss of the first temple in this game as Adult Link. So, pretty simple, not gonna lie. But let's go ahead and actually get ourselves our heart container and actually make our way into the portal and see what we have to go ahead and do. So here we are once again in the Chamber of Sages and the sage is none other than Saria. So she is no more but we got to be a friend. Well, she still will but she is a sage so she can't really exit the Chamber of Sages. Let's go ahead and actually... Wow, Link is actually very very tall as compared to her now. <clears throat> Exactly. Yeah, so here he's gonna go and give us the next medallion in this game, which is actually able to go and be the farthest medallion. So, two out of about two hundred three four five six medallions, so pretty good. And we actually already got one by like doing pretty much nothing, which was by Roru. Because there's no light temple, and let's go and actually make our way outside and see what goes and happens. That's great. So here we are back once again. In Kukiri Forest, and here is a sprout. Oh, Lincoln is like loud cries. It's pretty creepy to be honest. <clears throat> okay, so how is it? I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. <laughs> oh, so okay, so he's able to go in Irish now. Okay, fine. So he is able to uh, be nourished and grow because we went ahead and broke the curse which was on the forest temple yeah so we haven't yeah so we have or we are the only one as a kokiri who actually grew up but actually we are actually speaking a uh, hylian and not a kokiri so that's pretty sad to go in here but let's go ahead and see the story what goes and takes place or I'd rather hear the story which goes in take place.
Yes, guys. So we actually learned our destiny by that, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna go and be the end of the episode because <laughs> I'm not really sure when, where I went ahead and ended the episode, guys. But okay, um, apparently that's not where I ended the episode. So <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I'm just a little bit confused because I'm post commentating this video, as you guys could uh, already probably tell. But let's go and actually make our way across. Here and I actually want to see where I make my way to after this because I'm not very sure about it. <laughs> Let's go and actually wait and see. Oh, so we're able to do a certain, a few side quests. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're able to get this one heart piece after this. I'm pretty sorry, <coughs> or I'm very sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make our way outside and let's go ahead and uh, mount upon her because she is right here. <coughs> And here guys, let's go ahead and make our way towards a certain area which which is actually Lake Hylia <coughs> where we can obtain ourselves one final heart piece to go ahead and get ourselves our 12th heart container. So pretty good on that. Let's go ahead and actually make our way to Lake Hylia. Um, which is gonna be not very far away but it's gonna be pretty far away if we go ahead and walk because if we walk it's gonna take a lot of time. Yeah, so we just need like one more heart piece to go ahead and then complete and, and like this one more heart container. So pretty good on that. Let's go ahead and actually make our way towards Lake Hylia. <coughs> and by the way guys, I just want to go and just say something and that's that Hyrule Field is actually incredibly big and I don't know how like a kid who just randomly like just comes here will not be lost, you know, because it's because it's not easy to actually navigate through such a huge area. So here, let's go ahead and jump over these a few fences. Let's go and jump over this, and oh god, okay, let's go and actually make our way across. So actually, here's where I need. Actually, here's where I need to stop. So. Sorry about that guys, let's go and actually <laughs> make our way up here, go and drop a bomb here and actually get ourselves a heart piece for about 10 rupees I'm pretty sure which we can trade with a Deku's Rub So let's go and just speak to him and get ourselves a heart piece for 10 rupees and we completed our next heart container so pretty good on that not gonna lie now actually we want to make our way okay where's the opponent okay so we actually about uh, so we actually need to make our way towards where lake hylia itself is and we can actually get ourselves a heart piece from a magic bean which i planted i'm pretty sure i did yeah, so as you can tell, as an adult, guys, Lake Hylia is pretty much drained and there's no water and pretty much the entirety of Hydro is cursed by many, many bosses, so let's go ahead and actually uh, make our way through here and actually dismount upon her and actually make our way on top of the magic bean. <clears throat> now, this magic bean actually moves incredibly fast, so... And there's also a crow here which can go ahead and attack us, but let's go ahead and just save once and make our way over here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, come on. That's not fair, okay, okay, so I'm pretty sure I didn't save, but I thought I saved it. So, yes, we know about the cloud over that mountain is because that's the next temple in the game. So, let's go ahead and. Okay, there you go, at least we kill it. And now let's go ahead and make our way back to where we were and I'm pretty sure now the crow is not about to go and attack us so let's go ahead and actually make our way to where the to where the heart piece actually is which is actually about to be on the top of this house or like this lab pretty much. <clears throat> and we obtained ourselves our first um, heart piece to complete another heart container so let's go ahead and actually make our way behind and let's go ahead and actually hurt ourselves <laughs> and there's actually a few side quests which we which we could go ahead and do at this point but actually speaking guys it's actually really late into the video and I want to be teaching a certain song or I actually 
uh, we're going to be playing the song once again uh, to Pierre. So let's go ahead and actually play the song to him. Wow, I don't, I don't even remember the song of healing. <coughs> this is going to take a little while. Let's go ahead and. Okay, this is not the right one either. Let's go ahead and actually try this time. There you go. And by the way, guys, we actually played the Scarecrow song, and he'll actually be able to help us in the next temple of of this game because he is a Scarecrow after all. So here, there's, a, there's actually actually I don't want to be doing this side quest now because it's going to be the same fishing side quest. I'm pretty sure I'm about to go and do that in the near future. But anyway. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> let's go ahead and see where I go ahead and make my way next. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm ending off the episode right here. Or probably I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just make my way back to Hyrule Field and then stop. Anyway guys, guys, so this is pretty much the end of the episode because we are not about to do any more quests and we are just about to go and just uh, traverse through Hyrule Field. So uh, anyway guys, um, thank you all so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Be sure to like this video most definitely and be sure to uh, punch that subscribe button if you already haven't and be sure to also click that bell notification icon because it really does help me as well and it also helps you by alerting you when I go and upload a new video. So I think that's gonna be pretty much the end of this video guys so once again thank you so much for watching have a great day peace out and in the next episode we are about to go ahead and do a few quests and actually a lot of quests so I'll see you guys in the next episode thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next one.